Life can be seen as a journey of identity. When we're born as babies, we actually don't know where the boundary is between me, the baby, the human me, and the rest of the world. This is something that the child development people seem to agree on. And as we develop our sensibilities of the envelope of our humanness, we start to identify with one particular human body, and the journey of identity then, you know, includes the mother, of course, our attachment to the mother and the father, the, the siblings, and gradually we identify with more and more, uh, but the irony is that when we are born, in a sense, you can think of the baby as identifying with the all or with nothing, because it's really not so clear about boundaries. It doesn't know where it ends and the world begins, so to speak. So there are so many different ways of looking at identity. There's the physical, there's the emotional, and of course the relational is uh, important because as adults we do recognize what is me, the human being, and what is the other, the spouse, the offspring, the grandparent, and we create loving relationships between ourselves and others, and we identify with the roles in those relationships. And so this is an, another expansion of our identities that is very helpful to the people in our lives. So, as we move through life, we identify with larger and larger groups, perhaps, and make commitments to organizations through work, through our spiritual groups, churches, Zendos, whatever we find to be a grouping that resonates with us and gives us some reward through our commitments to engaging with something larger than this individual human envelope. And so some teachers actually talk about how all of our motivations are, quote, selfish. But the question is, what is the self? Are you an individual human being? Oh, those of you that are parents know that you are also fathers or mothers. And selfishness becomes a desire to make things as good as you can for your family. And so your identity has expanded. And so the spiritual process is one of expanding the envelope of the self and seeing how the relationship of love is the fundamental way that we can, as human beings, expand beyond the individual human selfishness and move to a selfishness that includes perhaps a planet uh, eventually. And you're, you see yourself as just a small speck part of a planet. And at the human level. The question is, 
once you reach each particular identity of self, what are we going to do about it? And so each of us has a particular motivation and a particular ability to take on daily wholesome practices and they, some of them we would see as spiritual practices, some of them we may just see as practices of being a good father or being a good mother, uh, being a good employee in an organization, being a good citizen of your town or your school, and you know, whatever grouping that you're working with. But we can start to see that what we do is really part of who we are because as we identify with these larger groupings we are having activities that includes them and are motivated is motivated by those groupings and so one insight is that the difference between doing and being is really just a category of which grouping are we talking about. I am a human being because a human is doing a lot of things inside of my body. I'm pumping blood, I'm fighting off bad germs in my immune system, metabolizing sugar and so on. This is human is doing human inside of this envelope. And then if I look to my relationships with my daughters, then I'm doing and being a father and so on as we go out. So everything that we do is really part of what we are, what we've really there's no real clear separation between doing and being. We are what we do, and we do what we are, so to speak. And so, it's a bit of a mystery. How can we find out who we are, what we are able to do, and expand it? And so, and how can we make the best of what we already have in terms of our abilities and our motivations that we have now. So those questions I think are very helpful to kind of throw into the pond and watch to see what kind of ripples they create uh, before we go into any kind of a meditative practice, be that one of taking a run or whatever your meditation practice is, whether it's sitting meditation or whatnot. And we don't think of it while we're practicing because we're releasing thoughts, but then in the subsequent days we may come to some inspiration as to what it is that we can do in order to expand who we are. And so playing with that relationship, uh, I am, therefore I will do, and then I will change who I am, which will again change what I can do, and so on and so on. And if we are blessed with relationships that help support us in this expansion, then we will be much more successful in terms of our evolution and creating a better future, not only for this envelope of being, but all those with whom we come in contact with found some resonance with this video, 
please give me a thumbs up and subscribe so you can see my future little short videos. Thank you.